Let's look at some energy changes under very specific situations. The first is I'll fix the volume. So if I fix the volume of the system, what can happen? Well, energy is still heat plus work, but in a fixed situation, the system can't expand and do any work or contract and have work done on it. So work is zero in this case. That means all the energy exchanges have to come from heat flow. That means in this specific case, heat kind of behaves like a state function. In general, heat depends on the path, but we're saying this specific path, a fixed volume pathway, heat behaves like a state function. It's equal to the energy change. So that energy change will be reflected in a temperature change. Now, what about a constant pressure situation? If there's constant pressure, and this is actually more common, you do a reaction open to the atmosphere, like in the laboratory, one atmosphere of constant external pressure, then the heat flow is not a good measure of the energy change. And that's actually convenient to just measure one parameter to get the energy change. So what we do is we define a new state function called the enthalpy. The enthalpy is the energy change plus the pressure volume constant. Now, the change in enthalpy will be the change in energy plus P delta V. And you can dose some mathematics to show that the enthalpy change is equal to the constant pressure heat change. So the heat under constant pressure is also a state function that we call the enthalpy change, delta H. And we'll use the enthalpy change for our chemical reactions that we do in open containers associated with one atmosphere of constant pressure. Again, for an ideal gas, the enthalpy changes will be directly proportional to temperature changes. So here are two different pathways, a constant volume pathway for an ideal gas, the energy is proportional to the temperature change, and the energy is the heat evolved. Or the constant pressure heat evolved is the enthalpy change, which is a new state function related to the energy that we'll use in our chemical reactions, and that's proportional to an energy change for an ideal gas as well. Constant volume, constant pressure, energy changes.